one of the most important things you can do to help support the Ducks. Like the video and share it with your friends. And enjoy the show. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Duck Adventure for December the 5th. Look at this little girl. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, a week or maybe a couple weeks inside that uh, her hips... I think that uh, her hips are uh, uh, hurting because she's getting mounted. Because the amount of mating that's going on right now in the flock is crazy. She's hissing at me. But she's loud. Oh, when she quacks, it's crazy how loud she is. For such a little dark. Let's go let the ducks out. It feels like spring, guys. It's unbelievable. Well, I'm outside without a jacket. That's how warm it is. Uh, the thermometer already is plus four. It's supposed to go to eight today. Yeah, unbelievable, uh, beautiful weather. Now, I'm late. It's actually, you can tell by the sun up right now, it's about quarter after eight. I've been laying in bed for the last, uh, I'd say about an hour and a half, listening to these guys. Uh, they've just been losing it here in the pen. They know it's nice and they want out. Look at them all coming out here. Yes, ducks. mission when they come out. Well, and then a couple slow ones at the end here. Oh, they're going over to the creek. Action's crazy, guys. They uh, they woke me up this morning. I was, I actually wanted to sleep in because I'm in extreme pain today, guys. I uh, I put my neck out yesterday working on my project in the garage. That caught, because the job I'm doing in the garage, I'm being bent over right now. So my neck got a uh, got a knot in it last night, and it was stiff. And I went, oh no! And I woke up this morning, and my neck is loose, and my hip is killing me. It uh, it's moved position and gone down to my uh, left hip. From my right side of my neck to my left hip, it's amazing how your body does that. So I'm this morning laying in bed in a lot of pain and uh, listening to these awesome docs just losing it. Uh, I started at 6.30 and I didn't have the camera in the bedroom. It's so beautiful. Let's look at them. Going to the creek. Playing in the water. The lake's still got ice. It's not warm enough for that to happen yet. If this weather stays the way it is, it's gonna the lake's gonna open up again. Right to the water. I think the Muscovies are thinking about flying to the lake. Oh, a little gimpy. Look at her. <laughs> oh, that poor duck. I wonder if I put her in with uh, stripper duck, if uh, the rest would do her hip any good. But then again, you know, like, she's had that limp for, I, well, her two years, a year, a year and a half, she's had the limp. At least, uh, at least a year, I know that much. A year for sure. I'm rambling, guys. I haven't had any coffee. I, my, my hip is killing me. Unbelievable. I'm, uh, and i got to still keep working on this project because I've got to get the project done because it's crucial for the show. It's, uh, it's my answer uh, <laughs> to solve one of my problems on the show anyways. Um, and i got to get done. So I'm going to go do an egg check here because I'm, uh, I only got one egg yesterday, which I almost stepped on. That was close. All right. Any eggs? Any eggs? Any eggs? 
Out of that side. Nope. No eggs. Well, let's go to the barn. What a beautiful morning, guys. It's, uh... It's unbelievable. It's a shame that this project I've got to do, I've got to, it's inside. Because today is a perfect day to do something outside. You couldn't ask for a more nicer December morning. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. It honestly, what it feels like right now, it feels like uh, late March. You know, when you know spring's coming, that's what it feels like right now. It's, it's unbelievable uh, how nice it is. Oh, it's a shame that I got to be inside today. I see an egg. Right on. Now the question is, is there another egg? I've got two now. But unfortunately, I've already got my oatmeal pre-soaking. Yeah. No more. Well, oh, they pounded the feed down in here. Yeah, I've got my oatmeal uh, soaking with my uh, uh, wild apples mixture that I do in the winter time here. Uh, so I'm having this morning, which if I'd known that I had another egg here, uh, I would be having eggs instead. Oh, duck eggs, they're so tasty. <laughs> I'm gonna be so glad when we get back to the 2030th day. Because I'm down to, I think I'm down to about maybe a dozen of my pancakes left out of that big giant batch of 250 I made. So I'm, uh, I'm getting low on that. I need more eggs. <laughs> I wanna, and plus I want to do uh, another thing I make is uh, 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 breakfast bread. I, I've got a craving for it. And that'll be uh, an epic uh, video that I'll share with you guys. And an epic recipe actually because it took me uh, probably 40, 40 uh, 30 batches to uh, nail this recipe down. So, but I need duck eggs. That's the secret, I need duck eggs. <laughs> Look at that. They're having too much fun here. What a beautiful December we're having, guys. I think the Muscovies are thinking of leaving. Oh, they're down there looking. I wonder if they're gonna leave. The fact that one went down yesterday and came back might have told the others that uh, there's water down there. thing is they could leave me waiting here forever I gotta grab the gun and discharge a couple rounds just in case uh, something's in the bush or something's around here all right I gotta put the camera down just listen to this crew guys they're having like too much fun today it's almost like they knew today was gonna be a nice day the way they started out being so loud they it, it's been nuts here all morning well, it's only been an hour and a half since I let them out, but hour and 15 minutes. But they've been pretty well non-stop in the water over there. <laughs> Just look at them. They keep going back over. It's unbelievably gorgeous. And it just sucks that I'm inside and I got it. I'm way behind on editing, guys. So I was, obviously, I, I haven't posted a video here in 48 hours. and. And I've been shooting videos. That's the crazy part, guys. I'm, I'm so far behind because I've been actually grabbing the camera and doing stuff here, uh, capturing what's going on. But I'm uh, like, I'm just, I'm so freaking busy that I, I, I've got to get this stuff done. And I, I just, I haven't sat down in front of the computer and actually edited it for you guys. Okay, Doug's barking out front. Doug, come. You're not supposed to be out there. Come on. Oh, there's something going on at the radio station again. Doug was out the gate barking. Oh, man. I gotta keep an eye on him now. Look at that, guys. The woodpecker is eating the ants that are coming to the surface. It's really warm out, so the ants are coming up. So he's cleaning the stump up. Mother Nature. Dealing with my problem. It's too bad you couldn't come earlier. Like before I had to cut the trees down. Like when the ants first found the tree actually. I've seen them take trees down like 14, 16 inch diameter trees and, and pound on them and take wood chips out, you know, the size of your knuckle 
and I've watched trees fall down with these guys chopping them down. They're the biggest woodpecker we have around here. Actually, I think they're the biggest woodpecker in North America. I'm not sure on that, but I know they're the biggest in Canada. But he's eating all the ants that are coming up from the stump. It's really warm out, so I guess the ants are coming up with the sun beating on it. And just look at them munching on the ants. Nice, easy meal. You're welcome. That's awesome. I gotta show you this, guys. Look at this. The ducks, uh, they were really interested in the woodpecker. Well, the woodpecker took off, but uh, when they saw the woodpecker, they uh, they were, I don't know if it was the red head, but they were drawn to it. No, the ducks, they'll eat ants too. But uh, it was really funny to watch them. They, they approached the uh, the woodpecker actually quite cautiously. Oh, they're going to the front yard. I'm gonna get my boots on. You wouldn't believe it, guys. It's the end of the day. Um, it, well, it's about 3.30 already, and uh, I haven't done a thing outside. Little stripper duck. I'm hoping that this rest inside, you know, I'm hoping um, that it uh, gets her what she needs so that she can handle outside. Honestly, though, I don't think so. I think stripper duck is... Yeah, well, I know one thing. Stripper duck's making duck really jealous. <laughs> He's, uh, he's stressing right out between Duck and I. She's such a pretty duck. With a wicked limp. Gimp neck. Oh, Duck, you have had one brutal life. Doug keeps walking between the Duck and I. Dougie, are you jealous? She's got a hard time standing with that leg. I'm hoping this does the trick. It's got to help. Because I think she was getting mounted outside. And if, uh, you know, the big males were on top of her, that would really screw her hip up. Because she's so small. Well, we'll see how it goes here. This little kitty pool idea though works. She's lonely though. And she has a problem keeping her balance. Doug. Oh, I know, Doug. You're jealous of the little duck. All right, let's go and do some work. I have uh, wasted probably one of the most beautiful days uh, in December. It's 10 degrees right now. Well, it's actually been 10 degrees for the last two hours. I've been dealing with a brutal edit. Um, all that footage I shot down at the lake, I was using two of my pivot heads and, and the big camera. Well, somehow the time was out of, out of sync on them. And so when I, I was editing, the, the, uh, the frames weren't in the same place where they were supposed to be. So I'm like, I, am, I edited it all the way and all of a sudden this frame comes up that wasn't even supposed to, well, it was supposed to be before the other ones. And, and then all of a sudden the program took an hour and 10 minutes worth of footage and turned it into 13 hours. And what was happening was every time I clicked uh, that I was editing that I would either splice it or, or take a piece out or I was adding on, you know, uh, uh, shortening it, it was duplicating the file. I had the, it was like it loaded up the memory with 13 hours worth of HD footage so I'm like I'm going through it trying to figure out what are duplicate files which are duplicate frames uh, bar none, the worst edit I've ever done uh, as far as being brutal is concerned, you know, compounded with my hip being out. So I'm sitting in a chair, uncomfortable, and I'm trying to get this, you know, they're trying to, you know, get this 13 hours worth of footage down to, you know, a 30 minute episode. And uh, unbelievably brutal, brutal. Of course, on the day that I, I had something that I wanted to do outside, well, actually, no, I wanted it, I actually have to do for the show. And it's in the garage, not at my kitchen table editing. So, uh, I'm out here now, I'm gonna do uh, my duck chores and feed the ducks and do their water and get ready for the night. And it's gonna be dark here like in not even you know an hour. Unbelievable, I just don't believe my day. Uh, and Dougie, he, uh, I kick him outside and what, you know, there's a, some kind of function going on at the radio station. So he keeps running out to the gate. 
uh, and barking at the gate because there's all these cars out of the at the radio station. So I'm calling him back, and you just couldn't ask for more things to go wrong today. Except the most important thing didn't go wrong. There's been no predator here today. And the ducks have just had a blast. I think the lake's gonna reopen up again because the weather tomorrow is again, they're calling for like a high of eight. We might see water again. And if we see water guys, like if the ice disappears, I'm gonna force the ducks to the lake. I'll herd them down there and we'll get some action here. Let's look at this. They're, they're all over the place, all over. They're, they're basically doing the creeks because the water's running right now. Actually, they might head back down here. Uh, they might head down to the creek. Back down to the creek. I can't even talk here. I'm so frustrated by what I just went through. It was a brutal edit. I don't know why the program did that. I, th I think what it is, guys, is I'm working with Windows Movie Maker, which is, you know, uh, it's a free program. And I've built the whole channel on it, but I think it's time that uh, I suck it up and do the learning curve and and get the, the new uh, software that I need. The thing is, I'm, I'm shooting with a Sony camera and they it, their file is a uh, AHVCD or something and it's a Sony file. So if you really want to have a good editing experience, you need to use the Sony editing software, which costs money because uh, there's some kind of lag that's going on with Windows when I'm editing. And I don't know what's causing it. And it just started actually since the Windows 10, uh, you know, when they're trying to suck you into upgrading to Windows 10 for free. I've noticed that the, the Movie Maker software has been doing weird things. Uh, and I, I don't know if it's on purpose, if Sony's done some kind of patch that, uh, you know, has caused this problem. But I know working with, uh, you know, this Sony file, uh, you know, this video file that this camera shoots is uh, becoming uh, quite a brutal task. I think I'm going to have to suck it up and one, buy the software and two, do the learning curve. Because it's getting really hard. It's, uh, I've noticed it's just not flowing. Uh, it's hard to get a smooth edit. Maybe it's time for the duck adventure to upgrade. But I gotta go do my chores. I just don't believe I wasted probably the second nicest day that we're gonna have in the month of December and I wasted it inside. Maybe it is time to do the learning curve and suck it up. But it's just, yeah, I hate paying for software, you know? And it's like a hundred bucks uh, for the medium version. I, you know, there's a basic version and the medium version. And then there's the really expensive one, which is like about 600 US, which is like that. I find, you know, something you download those trials, you know, those, those $600 programs and you load them and you think, oh, this is great. And you get the 30 day trial. Well, man, oh man, talk about brutal. You open the program up and it's like, it's just so overwhelming the amount of stuff that, that you can do with it. it. It's just like, okay, I can't even get my head around it. And, and I'm always, you know, on a time, uh, you know, I have a time schedule because, you know, I shoot every day and I'm taking care of the animals. You know, it's not like I'm just, uh, I've got all kinds of free time, which I don't. Um, so it's like, I'm, a, I'm trying to get this stuff up to you guys as fast as possible. I don't have time for a three, four day learning curve for one single video. Time to feed the duckies. This uh, mixing worked out really well, actually. If you look, I don't know if you can see in the video or not. It's pretty good mixing job. I'm really impressed, actually. I did a good job. <laughs> Here I'm giving myself praise for mixing duck feed. Oh, I can be crazy at times. Oh, duggies. Oh, I wish you wouldn't be barking at the gate today. You screwed me right up. And the thing is, it's because there's people across there and he's barking, being protective. <laughs> protective <laughs> and also very receptive because oh Dougie loves humans he's uh oh man that's one dog you could steal so easy like really easy guys it's scary actually actually I'm actually thinking about getting his belly tattooed I've got a microchipped but I'm talking about getting a nice big tattoo on his belly that says my name just to uh, make it like absolutely impossible because I've seen them hop into vehicles 
and he's uh, such a big lovey dog that uh, they, you know he might be sad after <laughs> he's stolen but it wouldn't take him long to adapt to wherever he is but if my you know big Matt McDougal tattooed on his belly would certainly not make it appealing to keep him <laughs> property of Matt McDougal Oh, I hear a duck outside. I got an egg this morning. I'm having eggs tomorrow. That's right. I forgot. I'm so screwed up today. I spent the whole day inside. Uh, the thing is about tattooing dogs is that you have to get them knocked out. Like, totally. You can't eat uh, sedatum. I've tried it. Uh, it doesn't work. You know, you saw when I tried to pull the quills out of Doug's mouth. Uh, you know, with uh, all that sedation. And he kept snapping to it. So just imagine he was getting pricked with a you know, tattoo needle. I'd have to take him to the vet and actually get him put under so that uh, you know the tattoo artist could do their job. I'm seriously thinking about it. Dougie, I would suck if you got stolen. I wouldn't know what to do, guys, if I lost Doug. He, uh, I, I can't even get my head around that one. But it'd be pretty hard to keep a dog that, you know, had property of Matt McDougall tattooed on his belly. Be, be hard to explain that one, why you got this guy's dog. Hey, Doug. Make it impossible for anybody to have you. Even though you jump into anybody's vehicle. And give them a big lick while you're in there. Alright, I gotta get the water happening here, guys. You know, as nice as it is, I'm really missing the snow, actually. Honestly, uh, because with snow, all this duck poop would be gone. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely everywhere. And now that it's not frozen, uh, it's, it sticks to my boots, it sticks to Doug's feet. And the problem is I have no running water outside because it's wintertime. Um, I've got the, my boots. It's a pain to clean my boots. I gotta be careful walking into the house. You know, I feel like I have a job that I have to do outside. Well, I do have a job to do, but it feels like I have a job that I need to do outside with this nice weather. But I am completely ready for winter. Other, the only thing I haven't done yet, guys, is plug the heating line for the drain over here, which is not a big deal. And that's the only job I haven't done. Which, according to the weatherman, we're not supposed to have any uh, freezing weather. The next seven days, guys, it's just nothing but nice. Not as nice as today is, but it's not like winter time. But technically, it's still fall. Look at that, the woodpecker eating the ants. Because the sun is uh, beating right there all afternoon, I guess the uh, stump's getting warm, and the ants have come to the surface. And this uh, woodpecker has been here all afternoon. I guess every single ant that comes to the surface, he's eaten. I love when Mother Nature takes care of the problems. Because you know guys, when Mother Nature takes care of the problems, the, it's always final. Just the, the, she's so efficient, you know. Okay, now he's, he's pounding up the stump. You know, there's a pair of these that have lived on my property, well, since I've been here. I've always had a pair of uh, woodpeckers. Their nest is somewhere. I've never found it. But I always have them here. But I've got a lot of rotten trees in this area, so... And rotten trees is, is insect haven. Which is uh, the woodpecker's number one food. He's not working too hard for his food though, guys. Because uh, normally when they pound their head like that, you see wood chips flying. He's, uh, he's eating everything that's just showing up at the top. I guess the ants are coming up in a pretty steady stream. Let's see what kind of uh, damage he's done. 
Well, he's not even going that far, actually. He's going over to the next tree. That's him. His damage. Getting at the ants. It's too bad about the traffic right now, though. He's in the uh, the bush there uh, calling to his mate. I love the sound of them. They've got that uh, tropical bird sound. Well, I'll leave him alone here so he can clean up the ants. Let him take care of that problem. <laughs> I think the ants are for a big shock next year when they come up in the spring. Well, if one thing, the woodpecker will be waiting for them. All right, I'm going to back to my work here. Got to uh, get push, do a little bit more on my project here. I was just going to call your name, dog. You're over in the bush. Ever since that night, uh, the Doug uh, did that freaking peek over there. Uh, he's shown a real interest. And you know, guys, I was at the grocery store yesterday, and because I didn't take a list in with me, I forgot the cat feed, cat food. I, I got home last night. And I was like, oh no. And then it's, it's like I got, I gotta, I gotta. I wrote the note, and it's in my truck. So my next trip to town, I'll uh, get some stinky cat food because uh, we gotta catch this feral cat. Now he hasn't, uh, you know, made an appearance since that night. Nothing's happened here, which is really good. But I gotta get on with my project here. I got my clipboard, my measuring tape, and I gotta make a bunch, of, take a bunch of measurements here so that I can uh, get this project going. I'm hoping tomorrow to make a dent in it because uh, I need to work outside and uh, it's gonna be 10 degrees tomorrow. So hopefully I won't have an edit problem tomorrow morning. Duck's having a snack. They're having a good fall. Happy ducks. Sorry guys, I gotta uh, turn the camera off here because I can't let you know what I'm up to. It's too bad I didn't have the big mic guys because that's what a woodpecker sounds like. I don't believe it. Sun's almost gone. End of the day. But I tell you, what a difference if those trees go on there. The yard's much, much brighter. So I got my uh, measuring done. I'm not gonna show that to you too long. As you guys will put it on pause and figure out what I'm doing here. Doug, you're breaking up Muscovy mating, aren't you? <laughs> I couldn't get the camera on fast enough, guys. He uh, he doesn't like the Muscovy mating action. I don't know what it is uh, because the ruins can mate. Uh, you know, the, the ruined drakes can get on top of the females, and it doesn't matter. But when Muscovies do. Even though, you know, they're on, even on top of other Muscovies, uh, Doug doesn't like it. He's got a thing for Muscovies. I don't know what it is. Just listen to these fat little ducks. Two female Muscovies just went to the lake. They took a male halfway down, and then they took off and started flying. Uh, but the male walked back to the yard, so I'm going to go down to the lake and see uh, what they're doing on the ice. I saw the females walking down to the lake and the male was right behind and then I went in the house, got the big camera and uh, I came out and the male was coming back to the yard and the females were gone. And there's no sign of them. <laughs> the ice is really thin though, it's breaking with me standing here on the dock. Yeah, I don't see them anywhere. Not a sign of them. That's bizarre. I wonder where they flew to. They could be uh, actually back there where that other one flew the other day. This would be really good ice if they came down. They would really slip and slide good on it. Well, tomorrow's another really warm day and the lake will uh, get more sawed out. I don't believe this. I shouldn't say I don't believe it. I've seen it before, but uh, it's just so nice to have, uh, you know, this type of weather in December. It uh, is a refreshing change from other winters. I, I, I'm trying to think the last year, I think last year was pretty brutal this time of year. I know two years ago it was brutal this time of year. Of course, that was the year I wasn't ready when I had the ducks. And we had all those bad things happen to the ducks. It wasn't good. They're juicing it right to the last year tonight, guys. I just came back from the, the dock and they were out in the mud. So I guess the sun warmed up the mud enough that it melted. Temperature's dropping fast though. It is supposed to go to minus one, but uh, 
that ain't nothing for this part of the world this time of year. And we're heading back to the pen. End of the day. But no sign of those two female Muscovies, so they've flown somewhere. They'll come back. The male came back. I watched him walk back. The ducks in a row going home. I gotta go inside and throw my uh, supper in the oven. I discovered something, uh, the last uh, duck that I cooked, or the duck before, I can't remember. Well, when I cleaned my oven, because I had to wait, uh, and I had already taken a duck out of the uh, freezer, and I had spiced it up and everything, so I had to, the duck sat an extra day with the spice, and it, what happened was, the skin dried out even more on it, and it was the most awesome crispy skin. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking it out two days ahead of time, spicing it, and then I let it sit in the fridge for one whole day uh, after it's thawed out, uh, and it seems to the skin dries out a little bit more so that uh, it's, it's super crispy when you uh, roast it. <laughs> it's super tasty too. Like I was saying, um, outside is that, uh, this duck has sat in my fridge. I don't cover it, I leave it open. And uh, so the air dries it out and it makes the skin even crispier. It's unbelievable. I, like I said, I discovered it by accident when I had to uh, wait an extra night because of my oven cleaning adventure there uh, last week. And it, what a difference it makes. So now I'm taking it out uh, the night before, I thaw it out, spice it, put the, the spices on, put it in the uh, or put in the uh, the fridge and I let it sit in the fridge for uh, 24 hours and I took it out of the fridge here about five hours ago and it's been sitting on the counter and it's nice and dry and I'm going to uh, throw it in the oven here and cook at the exact same time and uh, it's just like unbelievable. The skin is so crispy. It's, uh, it's addictive. It's really something else. I'm going to throw it in and uh, I pro more than likely you're not going to see what it looks like when it's done because I'm really hungry and I'm late putting it in the oven. So tonight I'm giving myself a break from the parsnips guys. I've been doing parsnips every single night. Uh, I'm, I'm parsnipped out now. I got one more night left but I'm going to do carrots tonight because I, I just have a craving for carrots. So roasted carrots tonight. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs>